I need more tea. Anyway, hi everyone. I'm back. Like, I'm not sure how long it's been. Sorry about my creaky chair. Um, I didn't buy a new one of those in the Black Friday sales, which is probably a mistake. No, I'm kidding. The chairs aren't old. I can just oil them or something. I've never done that before. Um, I normally just let it be awful, but since I'm recording videos, maybe I should actually not be lazy. Anyway, this is part three of a house we started a while ago. Don't know if you remember it, don't know if you came back from those, or if you're new. Either way, welcome, I guess. I don't know. But this is part three of just a big greenish looking house. I don't really know how, to, how else to describe it. Um, honestly, I really like this house, but part of me regrets building it because the footage has been sitting in my PC because I needed to, I don't know how to explain it, but like stagger the uploads of these because I built all of this and recorded all of this in one go because I have no life. So I needed to put up some builds in between. So part one and two of this is actually up simultaneously, like side by side, I mean. Um, but I wanted a couple different builds in between, so I've done that. But the rest of this footage was just sitting in my PC, clogging it up, because I have no nothing external to put it on. I need to invest in something for that as well, honestly. <laughs> now this is just becoming a video listing my flaws. Oh well. Um, but yeah, so I still had like two hours worth of footage, because decorating takes me forever. Building? Not so much, but decorating takes me a long time. I don't know why. I think maybe I should start doing stop motion videos like Archie Sims because his videos are just absolutely gorgeous. But I I have an idea of how to do them. I'm not sure if it's the same way he does them. But I I imagine you can just like set certain camera angles to do the panning from one bit to another just so it always goes back to the same place um, and you just take a screenshot every time you place a new item or whatever but like wow I'm really impressed by the people who actually do that my videos are an absolute mess honestly <laughs> anyway let's stop criticizing now <laughs> I don't mean to make you leave I I'd be quite happy if you stayed anyways so obviously you can move whoever you want into this house but it has three bedrooms um, this is this is what I intended to be the grandparents' room. I feel a bit guilty. It's still up on the second floor or first floor, whatever you guys say. It's not the ground floor, okay? It's the floor up from that. I think we're meant to say first floor here. Um, but I feel like every other person I speak to uses it differently, so I don't know. Um, anyway, grandparents have to walk up the stairs to get to their room. Sorry about that. Um, but it's okay, because in The Sims no one has arthritis or anything, so... We're all good. Um, imagine that being a stuff pack. Sims 4, Arthur, no. Sims 4, elderly stuff pack. And it introduces Arthur. No, we don't want that. Um, or do we? No. But I do think there needs to be more clothing options for older people. Um, I don't regularly make grandparents because usually you like to like make a young adult sort of sim and play them through their life and stuff, and then you start focusing on their kids, etc. I say this through assumption more than anything, because I... I've had the main sim I'm playing, her name is Michi, I've mentioned her in previous videos. I made her when City of Living came out. She was a young adult then, she's a young adult now, but that's, like I've said before, again, that's mostly because I started this Instagram with her. It's my Shuno Michi, by the way, if you want to check it out. Wouldn't recommend it. I'm not great at it. But yeah, that's part of the reason she's not aged up. I need to catch the story up to where she is. Um, but yeah, part of the reason I don't do Let's Plays is because I know my videos would look really messy. <laughs> Obviously there are ways to do it really nicely. Um, I really like how Hatsy does hers as more machinimas. Just, I don't know, they look neat and tidy and well put together and my life isn't like that, so at least I can watch the videos that are. What? Anyway, as you can see, <laughs> in the grandparents' room, because they have to go downstairs, I thought I'd stick in a little TV section because um, in my granddad's old bedroom he used to have his bed in one part of the room and on the other side of the room by the windows he'd have a big leather chair, I think it was fake leather, not sure though. Uh, and a TV. 
and most of his time would be spent sitting by the TV. He'd fall asleep there a lot. Um, but yeah, so stuck that there for them so that they can avoid the loud children and just watch TV in their rooms, even though the children probably sneak into their rooms a lot. I snuck into my granddad's room a lot when I was a kid just to go on his computer. I don't think he even had internet though. It was Windows 98. I really like looking at his screensaver. One of them was walking through like a dungeon. It looked a lot like Daggerfall, but anyway. And in the grandparents' room they have also this very tiny balcony. I put one flower pot on it. You might have seen me do that just a second ago. Um, thought about making it bigger and putting a chess table out there because that's all I ever do on balconies. Then I thought about taking it away and I just I just thought it was cute to keep it. This tiny little nook. But you can do what you want with it. I also like that they have a... I was going to say bespoke. That's not the word. What's the word? Oh my god, I can't remember. Ensuite bathroom. That's the one. Those are the words. Um, they have an ensuite bathroom. Initially, the bathroom was just an exterior decoration on the roof to make it look like there was a room there. And then I was like, you know what? Let's join it up and make it an actual bathroom that's accessible. And so we did. Um, and this is the kids' bedroom. I'm pretty sure we put a child's bed and a toddler's bed in here. Or teen bed. Like, you can put a teen or a child. In here. You can do whatever. You can put whatever you want in this room. It can be the dog's room if you want. Why not? There's enough pet stuff to do that now, I think. You can have like an interior pet training room for whatever reason. I really wish with the pet training stuff we had swatches other than just white. Like, it's not that big a deal, but I don't know. It looks so clean. <laughs> It, that's a good thing though. It, it's good the equipment for pets looks clean. I just wish we had a couple swatches. Like stone and beige and other very similar colours. <laughs> but yeah, so it was a Black Friday sale yesterday. Didn't get much fun stuff because the washing machine broke literally two days prior. Actually, I'm lying. It, it broke a week ago. So we've been trying really hard not to get through many clothes. <laughs> Which has been fun. Um, it's been fine. We've managed it. I have so many socks, it's stupid. I mean, none of them match, but still. I don't know where I got most of them, honestly. I'm not sure if a lot of them are mine, but I wear them, so. <laughs> Gross. I think they are. They're just very old. I've had most of my so I need to stop. This is just... So this sounds sad. Anyway, so the washing machine broke a week ago. Um, it's been on its way out for probably a year. Um, it kind of broke a year ago but we somehow tricked it into fixing itself a little bit and it's been sort of on the fritz for a long time and it finally sort of exploded last week and so we had to order a new one so everyone's put like 50 pounds into buying one. Really depressing. Um, maybe not, maybe I'm overthinking it. I have an existential crisis every day and <laughs> relatable. No, I don't act, no I do. It's not that deep though, don't worry. Um, you're not worried, you don't know who I am, why would you worry? I need to stop rambling, I'm sorry. Um, I just had tea for a bit of a caffeine boost because I think, I think I've gotten a cold. But let's pretend we haven't. And I've gone on a tangent again. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, washing machine. It's depressing buying washing machines and stuff. Like It seems like such an adult thing to do. I know I am an adult now. But... I I don't know, it still feels really weird to have to do those things. Like, I have I know how to use a washing machine, I use it and I I do adult things, but actually buying one, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, because growing up my mum had the same washing machine when I was five that she does now, somehow it survived. Um, I don't think they're meant to, but it has. Um, so yeah, I did buy some clothes though, for me and Tom. I can't remember what though. I paid for next day delivery as well, but it was Friday and I'm not sure if it actually counts over weekends, so I'm hoping it comes Monday, but who knows? Probably not because I have terrible luck and I paid for next day delivery and I'm definitely not getting it probably for the whole weekend, which is sad. <sighs> anyway, kids room, still happening. Um, I guess I went for green and orange. I think I use green in kids' rooms a lot. Don't know why. I, just, I like greens, blues, and oranges together. And in in a lot of builds, I've said this before, I think a lot of people have said this, but I try to keep 
a lot of room is fairly neutral. I don't know why I bother though, because I don't really make houses that look like ones you can just move into. I look, I make houses that look like they have been lived in for about 20 years. <laughs> With all the clutter, like one of these kids clearly collects model planes. So, I mean, there's no point in me trying to make the house look neutral if I'm putting clutter everywhere. I mean, downstairs in the kitchen, you'll see in the screenshots, um, I've put groceries all over the table. So if you move Sims in here, I think you gotta just assume your Sims have lived in this house a while. It's an expensive house. Um, so, you know, good luck working your way up to it if you don't use cheats. Um, I prefer playing without cheats. <clears throat> but sometimes- oops, sorry, I hit the mic. <laughs> I prefer playing without cheats when I'm actually playing with a sim, but when I'm making ambient sort of NPCs, I just give them free real estate and move them into a mansion, and then usurp them later on. But yeah, uh, I really had to get this video out because I really wanted to make a get famous mansion. Oh my god, my throat, I'm sorry if I sound terrible. And uh, I always sound like an old man anyway, I think, so it's not that big a difference, but Sorry if it's even worse. <clears throat> One second. Sorry about that. We was about to have a coughing fit, managed to starve it off. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? Something about old men, how I am one. But what else? Right, ambient NPCs, get famous. So have you guys played much Get Famous? I assume a lot of you have. Uh, I'm pretty slow. But I preemptively made a sim for it. Her name is Mallory. I forgot her last name. But... Did I talk about this already? I think I have. I don't know. I'll say it again. <laughs> I'm sorry if I have. I should like make notes of what I've said in each video. One day I will build something where I can actually talk about the history of the build. Today is not that day. <laughs> Today we are 10 minutes into looking at a kid's room. Woo. But yeah. So yeah, I made a sim, Mallory. Her mum really wanted her to become a figure skater and compete in the Olympics at skating. She used to be a skater, she was pretty well known, um, but not the best, so she was really strict towards her daughter Mallory. Like, as soon as she was able to skate, she got her to, and she put her on a really strict diet. Yeah, I have talked about this because I mentioned an eating disorder. Okay, this has got dark. But yeah, so that's the sim I'm playing with, and she's sneaking out every night after, like, she goes to school, then she goes skating practice, and then she goes up to her room to do her quote-unquote homework, but then sneaks out to actually go to acting gigs to be an extra, and parties where she might meet directors, writers, that sort of thing. Don't worry, she does do her homework on the way, but she isn't, she isn't great at academic work, I've decided. <laughs> Um, a lot of that is just, like, headcanon stuff, obviously, I, I mean, she goes to school, but I can't go with her, so I can't control that, and I can go to random ice skate rinks that are in the city, but they're not official things, and I can't make her mum coach her or shout slogans at her, but hey, we can pretend. I say that every video, I really need to not do that. Um, I think the kid who's aging up into a teen put that skull and crossbones on the door. Because you go through an edgy phase, you know. I didn't really. Um, my cousin had a bit of a rebellion phase. I say a bit, it, it was a bit intense. Um, I didn't so much <laughs> at all. I was a real goody two shoes because I was terrified of getting in trouble. So I did nothing wrong. I only ever had two detentions throughout high school. One was in the first year when I forgot to bring a pamphlet into PE. Um, it wasn't a big deal, it wasn't necessary. We just had to read it and bring it back. I read it, but I forgot to put it in my bag. And my teacher said, okay, you have a 15 minute detention after school, come back and see me. And I did, and she was like, why are you here? And I was like, you remember, I, I have a detention. She was like, oh yeah, well, for being honest, you can just have it for five minutes. So, well done, idiot for doing that. Pfft. I'm pretty sure I've told that story before because nothing interesting happens in my life so I remember things from when I was 11. Fun? I don't do anything. <laughs> I kind of don't. Wow, sad. Um, I draw a lot. 
no. I don't draw as much as I used to, and I really should. I'm doing a giveaway on Simstagram right now, I'm drawing a few people's sims. So, I do that sometimes actually, so I, um... I don't know, I was gonna say follow me on Simstagram if you wanna, if you're interested, but... I don't post giveaways regularly enough to justify that, but... Maybe I'll start doing them on Twitter, I can draw your sims or something. I don't know. Why not? But yeah, so... Uh, this video is basically just decorating the upstairs, which is essentially just three bedrooms. The... Yeah, the grandparents have an ensuite, and then there's a fairly big bathroom that both the kids and the parents can use. And the parents' room is massive, by the way. There's a lot of empty space, because I really just wanted a massive window area where they, where they, where blah blah English? I can't do it. Um, where they can sit and read. So there's just this... what are they called? There's just like three ottomans put together by the windows. And you can just sit there with a cup of coffee or whatever and read your book. I wish Sims would hold cups of tea or coffee while reading books and sitting down and then, I don't know, take Simstagram pictures or something. Make me feel better about myself. Because nearly every time I go to a coffee shop, I will take a picture of the coffee and I always feel really awkward about it. Oh, I left me saving the game in. Um, not through lack of paying attention, but to remind you guys to also always save your game. Definitely not because I wasn't paying enough attention while editing. <clears throat> and now I'm not even build it. There we go. We're, we're back. The cursor has moved. It's fine. I was probably watching anime at the same time. I'm sorry. Um, I used a ton of debug items in this build. I do that sometimes, but in this one I used a lot. I thought of putting some graffiti on the floor of the kids' room as just meant to like art decal things. I didn't in the end. Because um, they look very actual graffiti-ish and not so much cute. Yeah, parents' room, fairly generic, I guess. There's a lot of book clutter. I think the parents are bookworms. I imagined um, one of them to be a doctor. And the other, I don't know, do what you want. Let me know what kind of people you move into this house. If you use it. Don't know if anyone will use it. Oh, and in the grandparents' room, on the granddad's side, I put the blue tomes and I put like little cups that are meant to be medicine bottles because, I mean, my grandparents always had to take medicine before going to bed, so I assume quite a few people do. Especially when they're old. Is that rude? Yeah, probably. So, the back garden is far more manicured than the front. Oh, here's the groceries. I really liked doing this. It was pretty long-winded because they don't snap and I had to just raise them with Alt-9. But I think the end result was pretty cute, so I might do that again sometime. Oh, well done. There we go. We got there in the end. Um, yeah, so the front garden, although it has a fairly grand-ish walkway up to the front door, um, it's pretty messy, like it's a naturally formed path almost, or it was paved a long time ago and hasn't been refurbished or anything and some of the stones are wearing away. Um, but then in the back there's fresh, neat, manicured sort of paths gone down. The flowers contained in sections. So I think these this family probably refurbished the back garden quite a bit. It's an old house, definitely, but inside it looks pretty new. Not necessarily modern, but just not run down at all. Very clean. They've put, I don't know, um, double glazing in and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah. So we finished the bedrooms, how exciting. But that's the last of this build. Um, you can go download it, it's been up for a while. Uh, what was it called? Ah, uh, well, there you go, check. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But yeah, hopefully the next video I have up, it might either be Land Grab Part 2 or a celebrity mansion because I really want to build a celebrity mansion. Oh right, this this lot is Overbrook Stable and my gallery ID is Blossom Bombs if you want to download it. 
Um, I had the garlic up and then Tom said, oh wow, it looks like a minion. So I had to delete that because then I wanted to kill my son. No, wait, that's going too far. Then I wanted to be sick. There we go, that's not so bad. <sighs> so thanks, Tom, if you're listening. Thanks for that. I hate minions so much. I, I, I just... I know quite a few people who are like, they're cute, but they're wrong. Those people are wrong. I know opinions exist, but factually, minions, awful, shouldn't exist, um, need to die, be eradicated. Anyway, if you download this lot, please send me screenshots of you using it. I hope you like it a lot, and thank you for watching the video. See you next time. Bye! As always guys, thank you for watching, hope to see you next time, don't forget to like and subscribe, okay, bye!